definitely a crier so I have a feeling that's coming uh, but it's been pretty stressful so a lot to manage this time of year is always stressful and so then to kind of add a few traumatic life events on top of it is can feel very overwhelming This hole right here is what the fire department did. We think they axed it. And then actually the whole door mechanism is broken. Um, so I'm gonna put on my mask. But the soot that you'll see, that's the soot from the kitchen. So you can see firemen's footprints and then now ours. So I've already done a lot of work in here. Yeah. It is what it is, what it is so. Following breaking news out of Southern California, at least 11 people shot inside of a nightclub uh, in Ventura, California. This is a right now, and a large police presence. The area is shut down. I was just talking to a couple of police say that there were hundreds of people inside the bar, which was hosting a weekly college country music night. The fact that here in Ventura fired one person advising there's a subject inside shooting. They were line dancing. I woke Thursday morning at about 6.30 to almost 25 text messages and multiple missed calls from my dad. Like mass phone calls from my mom, my parents. And when you wake up to a text message that says, just plain and simple, are you safe from that many people? Um, you know something has gone wrong. The first thing he said to me was, I'm so grateful to hear your voice. And I was just like, what's going on? And he told me what had happened at Borderline. Um, everyone was contacting all their friends. That's when we overheard that there was a girl that was missing. 18-year-old Elena Housley was last seen with friends inside Borderline Bar and Grill when the gunman opened fire. Her classmate at Pepperdine University tweeted, My sweet mate is still missing. Please let me know if you know anything. It gets hard to put it into words. It's hard to put it into pictures. It's hard to put it into a video. That really rocked the campus. Um, it, you could feel it. The, it was just heavy. Borderline is the place that everyone goes to. It's like a line dancing place. Miss Rorty went there for a date night last year. It's really fun. In the media aftermath of the shooting, um, our campus came together like I've never seen before. Pepperdine immediately set up a prayer service even before we knew if everyone at Pepperdine was actually safe. Mothers was packed. I had a friend who went down to the chapel to try to get in. Each of these places were packed with Everyone just wanting to be together. I drove to campus to attend the prayer service, um, and as I was on my way to campus, I found out that one of our Pepperdine students had one of our Pepperdine students had died in the shooting. Right now, I am angry, emotional, confused, gasping for peace and serenity, and so very sad for Elena's family. And I must confirm that we lost Elena last night. And I'm sad for each and every one of you. When I heard about that, I just couldn't even process it that well because I remember as a freshman, I had so many opportunities. There has been so much that has changed um, positively um, with my personality, with my career goals and my aspirations. And I didn't get to know Elena, but what, from what I've heard, she was an inspiration to a lot of people. She had a very strong voice. Um, and that's what our campus needs. And she was already becoming such a positive impact for our campus during her short time here. She became part of our family, and when someone takes away a member of your family, um, you just don't know how to deal with that. And I just remember that day on campus after the prayer service, everyone was in shock. 
And then before the process of even dealing with that had happened, we woke up the next morning and Malibu is on fire. Moving south now to the Woolsey Fire, which is not far from the scene of Wednesday night's mass shooting in Thousand Oaks. The intensifying Woolsey Fire has quadrupled in size in just hours. Firefighters are doing their best to battle the raging flames as they jump the, the fire here. Uh, more than 90,000 acres at this point. Uh, more than 400 homes destroyed in this area. Got back over Malibu Canyon here, one of the areas where there's still uh, an active fire here. So this is just west of Malibu Canyon and just north of Pepperdine. At 3 a.m., I get a call from one of my roommates from last year saying, hey, we're being evacuated. Someone was knocking on my door like 8 a.m. We hear just like a banging on the door saying like, we need to, we need to leave right now. We need to evacuate. We just knocked on doors, made sure all the rooms were clear. We closed down all the windows, um, opened up the blinds, made sure all the doors were locked and made sure everyone was out and we relocated to the Firestone Field House. So I woke everyone up, I packed a duffel bag and grabbed my backpack. It's like that question of like, what do you grab if you have 10 minutes? I found out. We got all of our one night bags because we packed them the night before, jumped in my girlfriend's car, and then we went right over to LA. Um, we left campus, me and a couple of friends. And then we split to different areas in LA and stayed there. It took me about two and a half hours to get from my apartment to Santa Monica. Should it takes about 25 minutes and it got worse and worse throughout the day. Just seeing pictures and videos of your home burning, a home that I've had for almost a year is, was just really tough. And I, I know it's only like material possessions that are there and things that can be replaced. Um, but it's still hard to see that. For the planner in me, it's been just a time of like, you've got to let this go. Um, and the student care team at Pepperdine has been amazing. They put together like a whole FAQ website of like what to do if you've lost your housing. And so my roommates and I are on a list for on-campus housing. So now I just have to wait, but I've just been so incredibly grateful for the outpouring of offers with from friends on campus, from alumni, from faculty saying, if you need a place to stay, you can stay with me. And on HRL for two years and every single year during training, what they tell us is that Pepperdine is the safest location in Malibu. Pepperdine has worked with the fire department to make sure that their plan for fires is a good plan. It's been tested and tried, and each and every single fire that has happened, this plan has kept students safe. So in the Firestone Fieldhouse, I was playing volleyball. People had worship in the calf. Um, I didn't get to see it, but there's a video of them singing, Don't Stop Believing. I mean, obviously it's not the ideal situation, like we would rather be comfortable in our beds, but it wasn't chaos, I was with friends. My chest just feels like very tight this week and I think the stress and anxiety of all that's been going on is starting to hit. Um, it's gonna be really, I think, tough to return. It's hard to be away from community right now, but I think it's gonna be really tough to um, return and just see how we're gonna uh, move on. I know we will, but I just can't even begin to process. You unravel me with a melody You surround me with a song But it has been beautiful to see how much the schools come together and people have been there to support each other. It makes you think about all that you've got and how really perfect it is that Pepperdine, our friendships, our community, our school. And in no way are we going to completely fall into despair. Um, we're gonna take the time to, like I said, lament, but we're also gonna take time to find beauty um, in such a tragic moment. And I think that's, that's what everybody's trying to do, is stay positive. Community at best is one that's together in solidarity and that's what the Pepperdine community showed. We were there for each other through every step of the way. In all of this, it's been really easy, I think, to be frustrated and angry with God and be like, why is this happening to our community? Why two things in a row? I mean, can we really take anything more? But I think that um, God really has been present and it doesn't matter if we face the ocean, it doesn't matter if the hills around us are green. And the community is why I chose Pepperdine and 
I am so thankful that I did because I think it would be really difficult right now, even more so than it already is if I didn't have who I had with me. The thing about Pepperdine is that it's not just a place that I go to school at. It is a group of people that I truly admire so much. If you asked me two months ago about Pepperdine's community, I'd say, yeah, like it's the best thing I've ever experienced. But if you asked me today, I would say it is the strongest family that I have seen from a place that I call school, a place that I call home, and a place where I feel like I have found my people. It's been